November 5th through 11th, 2023 is designated as National Shelter Appreciation Week, an opportunity to recognize the shelters that bridge the gap to adoption for millions of abandoned and stray animals. The observance also acknowledges the hardworking people who support the efforts of the shelters and keep pets healthy. This National Shelter Appreciation Week, Charles County government wants to say thank you to our amazing employees at the Charles County Animal Care Center, our excellent adopters who make space in their homes and families, and the sweet, funny, and loving animals who bring such joy to our lives. We hope you'll share in our appreciation as you hear the beautiful stories of how Blue Jeans, Iceland, and Darby Lou find their forever homes. My name is Patricia Broman. I am the animal care supervisor and I have been here for five years. So my name is Cassidy Garner. Um, I am a animal technician assistant. Um, I've been here for almost two years. What I remember about Blue Jean is I was a technician at the time and when he came in, he was just very sweet. And I remember his paw pads were very raw and he didn't want to walk, so we had to carry him everywhere. And so when we were nursing him back to health and doing his feet and all that stuff, he, he was just so sweet. He just had like this gentle personality and he just won my heart over. So he was uh, for sure a, a favorite. So I remember the day he came in, Blue Jeans was kind of just hanging out. He was brought in as a stray to us. He was the sweetest dog. He did not want to walk, so I would carry him around like a little baby. And I would just snuggle with him and he would give kisses. And he was always just so excited to see you even though he was in pain with his feet. So I wasn't here when Blue Jeans got adopted on that day, but she did come back a couple months later with him and I was here and I actually got to meet her and she was very sweet. Um, and she was so excited to have Blue Jeans a part of her family. It kind of just like made her family whole and it was adorable. He loved her so much. My name is Regina Graham. This is my husband, Anthony Graham. And we actually got Blue Jeans in May of 2023, late May of 2023. I have a big fear of dogs. You would never know it now. But um, he's always wanted a dog. So I was like, okay, it's been over 10 years. So I said, well, let me just look into getting one. So I went to the shelter's website first and I saw Blue Jeans and I actually thought Blue Jeans was full pit. So and I knew he was, a, he could, we couldn't have him in our apartment. So I started looking at bulldogs, but something kept drawing me back to Blue Jeans. So I called the shelter and I asked, asked about him and they told me he was actually a lab mix. They never mentioned Pitt. And I told him about my fear of dogs and asked if I could come out because I wanted to surprise him for Father's Day. So I asked if I could come out and see if there's a dog that I might form a relationship with. So that's what I did. I went there and I stood behind the fence first for about 10 minutes and then the guy um, welcomed me into the fence and then Blue Jeans, he would just brush up against me. And then after about 15 minutes, they, we went to the gazebo. And then that's where he told me all about Blue Jeans' his habits and things like that. And left him there, went and got him. And the next day, we picked Blue Jeans up. When I first called the shelter and inquired about Blue Jeans, the staff was very open with me. Uh, she explained that Blue Jeans had been there for a while. He came in as a stray and that, you know, he was very temperamental when it came to his food and things like that. And then when I told her about my situation and asked if I could come down, um, she welcomed me to come down. And then when I came down, the, um, the young man who introduced me to Blue Jeans, like he was very patient with me. He made sure that I was comfortable with blue jeans before inviting me behind the fence. So I think they made sure that I was comfortable, that we were comfortable with each other. Blue jeans has been really, even though he's supposed to be, supposed to be his dog, he's been good for my mental health. Um, never thought that I would connect to a dog the way I've connected with blue jeans. He's been really good for me emotionally. So he came into our lives at the perfect time. My name is Candice Rowe. I'm a vet tech at the shelter, and I've been here about four years now. Aislinn, she came here three times, and I felt so bad for her. Anytime she gets returned, either they move in, don't have time for her, and anytime she's in a cage, she was so depressed. 
and I'd love to get her out. I got some photos of her, videos of her, try to get her out of the shelter. I'm Krista. I am a animal shelter attendant and I've been at the shelter for about 10 months. Iceland came in early in the year and I think she got adopted a couple times and she was an older girl and I don't think it was any fault of her own that she kept coming back. She was pretty calm and when she was in her cage the last time, I remember her just being so calm and nice, but as soon as she saw the leash, she was just ready to go and wanted to go outside and play. And Darby Lou, she came in through transport and she quickly became a shelter favorite because she was so calm in her cage too. And when she came out, she was just so sweet. And we had her in the back office a couple times to um, let her just kind of hang out with everybody and she was just so well behaved and we really enjoyed having them here. But we're really happy that they found a home together. Hi, my name is Mike Weiner, and these are two rescue dogs from the Charles County Animal Care Center. This is Iceland over here on my right, the black one, and the white one is Miss Darby Lou. Well, my wife and I are animal lovers and we knew we needed another dog and we went to the shelter and as I approached the shelter, I walked in and I said, I would like a dog that has been here the longest. It doesn't matter what kind of dog, whether it's male or female, what she looks like or he looks like, as long as they are friendly and they get along with other dogs. And the assistant at the uh, shelter went and got Iceland and I gotta say she did a phenomenal job of picking out a dog for us. So we ended up with our second dog, Miss Darby Lou, because unfortunately we did have a dog that passed and we were down to two dogs and we needed another playmate for them and I went back to the shelter and uh, basically I said the same thing. I said I would like a dog that is friendly, gets along with other dogs and likes people and they went and picked out Miss Darby Lou for us and uh, she has been a wonderful addition. It was important for my wife and I to go to an animal shelter because we know that there are many dogs out there that need to be rescued. And you will get unconditional love from any dog that you get from a rescue. If you show a dog love, they will show you love in return. And we have not been disappointed and we are absolutely thrilled that we have Iceland and Miss Darby Lou with us today. The staff at the animal care center were phenomenal. I walked in, I asked them to pick out a dog for us. They were more than happy to. They brought us our first dog. They did an excellent job bringing a dog for the requests that I had as far as getting along with other dogs and getting along with older people. They listened to me and fulfilled my needs. So it was definitely worth going to the care center. I appreciate the unconditional love that my dogs have given me. There's nothing better than watching TV at night, laying on the couch and having the dogs snuggle up next to you. Uh, it's just a wonderful experience. What I appreciate the most about Mike and his family and adopters like them is them coming in and seeing the dogs for who they are and not basing it all on just how they look in their cage or how they act in the yard, just kind of looking at the whole story and trying to give them the best life that they can. I appreciate the adopters that come in, the volunteers that come in, and it makes me happy when adopters come in that take the dogs and we know that they're in a good home. We hope these stories have touched your heart. To find out more about how you can support our local shelter by volunteering, making a donation, or fostering or adopting a special friend, visit the Charles County Animal Care Center website.